Hi, I'm Jonathan Adair. I'm here at Mad Elevator to talk to you about ECR's frame ceiling series. They include the big white polycarbonate ceiling and the massive stainless steel ceiling. Every frame ceiling comes with a consumable kit and the kit includes uh, two electrical boxes, two box covers, a duplex receptacle, a connector to connect the boxes together, two wire clamps, and a set of crimpable connectors. As well, you're going to have a set of quarter 20 bolts that are used to connect the brackets to the ceiling frame, and you'll have a bunch of quarter 20 bolts that are used to connect the brackets through the canopy. Now let's talk about the frame. They call these frame ceilings because the frame is visible after the ceiling is installed. These frames are made of clear or black anodized aluminum and are, in fact, very light. Let's have a look at the backside. These frames are made with ECR's proprietary extrusion and the extrusion has a few features you might be interested in. One, it is able to support these retention clamps that are used to hold the pans in place for safety and buffer tests. As well, this ceiling features this clamp. This clamp is used to hold the horizontal and vertical pieces together and because it's bent, will cause them to rotate together giving you a nice tight joint for the entire life of the ceiling. Finally, the extrusion includes a slot that you can put a hex head bolt into, which will mean that when you're installing brackets, you don't have to retain that side of the bolt when you're tightening it up. It's just a point of convenience. Now we're going to put the ceiling brackets on. In order to do this, we put the bolts through the pre-drilled holes into the slot I showed you previously. The bracket will go behind the extrusion like this with the top facing in. This is a ceiling template that's provided. Now that we've installed the brackets, we can put the ceiling template on the brackets and mark their location. Then we'll be able to put the template against the canopy, drill holes in the canopy so that we can install the frame. The edge of the template has to align with the edge of the bracket. This is true for all the brackets. Now that we've made marks on the template to show where the brackets are, I'll just put 1 8 inch holes into the template so that we can line it up on the canopy and drill our holes there. When we drill the holes in the canopy, we'll use three successive sizes of drill bits, quarter inch, three eighths, and one half inch. Again, this is so that you don't hurt yourself with the torque of drilling a half inch hole. On top of the canopy, we'll have a three quarter inch washer. The combination of a half inch hole and a three quarter inch washer will allow you to move the ceiling around a little bit to get final adjustment before you tighten it up. This will give you a perfect fit. Now we're going to install these 3 inch uh, dome headed quarter 20 bolts into the brackets. They go in from the bottom. They're fairly long and this is so that when you're putting the ceiling in place it's easy to align the bolts to the holes. You can see it very well. Also the uh, holes at the top of the bracket are threaded so you'll be able to screw these into place, tighten them up and they'll be securely held while you're doing your installation. So now that we've finished all those common features of a frame ceiling, we're going to turn this into a big white. In order to do that, we have to put in the polycarbonate lenses and we have to install the light fixtures at the top of the brackets. We'll do that next. The screws are put into the casing from the back and we make sure that there's nothing in the casing that the screws will interfere with. We also make sure that the casing is down a little bit from the top so that when we go to put the front on, it will clip on easily. Now we're going to put the electrical clamps in so that we can connect all the lights with the wiring. Now it's time to wire these electrical components together. We'll start with the left side and go through the center and from the center to the right, we'll come out of the right side with an electrical cord that can plug into a receptacle. It should be noted that these have the capability of being wired with dimmers, although they don't come standard with the product, you can buy it from the MAD online store. It's also important to note that this can only be done by a licensed mechanic. Put the wire into each case and be generous. Lots of wire makes wiring easy.
Now I'm going to tighten up the clamps and we'll make sure that the wires are nicely out of the way. Now we're going to install the uh, plug-in that will be at the end of this circuit. We have a couple of choices here. One, we can leave the plug on and we can install it with a receptacle. Or two, we can cut the plug off and have it go into the box and be wired directly. This is up to the mechanic to decide. Now we have to connect them all together, green with green, black with black, white with white, and the ground goes with the green. Of course, it's always a good idea to test your circuit before you install the ceiling. Let there be light. Now it's time to drill the holes in the canopy. We'll use the template and we're going to hold the template in place with these spreaders. I can't do this myself, of course, so I'm going to get the help of my friend Alan from MAD. So now I'm going to drill the holes. Uh, I'm just going to start with a 1 8 drill bit just because it makes it easier to start and then I will go through the regular progression as I talked about before, quarter inch, 3 8 and half inch bits. Now that we've drilled the quarter inch hole through the canopy, I'm going to get Alan to help me out with the last two stages from on top of the canopy. Can you help me out with that, Alan? Now we're going to lift the ceiling into place and Alan's going to apply the nuts from on top of the canopy. Now the last step is to install the lenses. We'll install the lenses on each side and then the one in the middle where the hatch is located last. To hold the lenses in on the side, we'll use our retention clips that I showed you when we looked at the frame. Now to install the clips. When we install the clips, we'll put one on the side and one on the front. That will hold the panel in place for safety and buffer tests. So that concludes our big white ceiling installation video. We hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Alan, lights!